Emma Goth wants to take things to the next level, will Alice be her girlfriend? What do I, what do you say to that? Like, what the heck? Alice is married to Emma's brother. I don't think that would be good. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're playing some more of the Sims 4 Decades Challenge. Today we'll be celebrating Harvest Fest or Thanksgiving um, in the 1910s. And we will also be inking up one of our Sims today. My plan is to make it through playthrough Saturday and that way Ruth will also age up. So we'll have Thanksgiving and a birthday in this episode. Um, but everybody's just kind of waking up for the day and getting themselves ready. And then we did decorate the house just a little bit. Um, with some holiday items to get ready. We are going to have Emma over. Unfortunately, we can't have the boys come. They're at war, so it's just going to be a house full of the ladies. It looks like Mary here is in the bathtub. Let's go ahead and get her out because her brother is having some stomach issues and he really has to use the restroom. They also have some homework, so let's go ahead and do that. Wait, what? You guys, hold the phone. Emma Goth wants to take things to the next level. Will Alice be her girlfriend? I was just having a relaxing gameplay, okay? We just were not even like four minutes into this episode and she she wants to be her girlfriend. She, so in the last part, Emma lost her husband, okay? He died in the war. Paul is dead. Alice is married to Emma's brother. I don't think that would be good. Okay, during this time, like, that would be very uncommon. So, we're gonna say no way. Um, they do have some romantic, though. Like, they do, if you look right here. Let me go to Alice. That, I haven't done, you guys. That's happened organically between the two of them. So, not my doing. Okay, it is so dusty in this house now. We need to vacuum it. I'm trying to get this ticked off, but it's taken forever. We've talked about 10 million different funny stories. Oh, he got it. He got it with his sister, like, right away. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's clean and full. So let's go ahead and talk to the cow a little bit. We have no relationship with this cow. Oh, we got a new personality trait. So Ruth is squeamish at the moment and doesn't appear to have her stomach for gross things or creepy collars. Do we want to embrace this change? Let's say it. Let's just say yeah. She is moving away from wanting to work on the farm. She's becoming more artsy like her husband and wants to find her things in life and doesn't want to have to deal with working on the farm as much. That's why Alice and Junior have kind of taken those duties over. Mary, go ahead and do your homework. You still have not done this. Ruth, thank you so much for cleaning that toilet. She probably is hating it right now because she is squeamish. <laughs> She's probably like, oh, why? Oh my god, I don't know why everybody has an upset stomach. I'm not quite sure how to fix that. Everybody is sick in this house. I think these girls are also going to have the babies before their husbands come home. So that's going to be unfortunate. Um, we can actually probably, let's get rid of this really quick. We don't need it for some time until it's, you know, unless one of the men age up to a teen in this uh, time period. So we can unlock this too. Uh, all of the men have already, so far, have already eaten the cake, so we shouldn't have to do that for a while now. They're, yeah, they're all sick. Um, I'm not really sure how to buy their medicine. We don't, like, have any way to do that. So I think what they need to do is learn how to make some herbal rem remedies, but I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't do it. We, we don't have anything to do it with. We need like elderberries and fireflies and stuff like that. So they're just going to remain sick and hopefully nobody dies. Um, let's go ahead. It's like 3 p.m. So let's go ahead and... Oh, feeling forlorn. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything? I'll always love you. Who is saying this? Is Alice saying this? People like you look around. Life is pain. Just keep going. That's okay. Um, people like you look around. Ruth has advised Alice affecting her. Okay, cool. Okay, Ruth has advised her. So, but... Um, what we are going to do is we're going to plan a social event. Let's do it from the calendar. Maybe we should do a stay over. Let's do a stay over. Um, because that way Emma won't be alone because she just lost her husband. So let's go ahead and do it for, yeah, let's do three nights and let's shoot for 4 PM and have Emma over for a few nights. That way she'll be here for Ruth's birthday too. I think that's great. Alice is having a really hard time, you guys. She really does not want this pregnancy, apparently, but uh, she's having to go through with it because there was nothing to do about it in the 1910s. Well, 
maybe, but not common. Uh, Mary's responsibility is in range. Perfect. Um, everybody keeps tuning. Everybody has an upset stomach. Oh my goodness. What is Ruth doing? Ruth, you can't sleep. No, 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 Ruth. Come on. Ma'am, we need you down here to cook. What are you doing? What is she doing? Alice, why don't you come over here and help bake some dinner? Okay, we did not make enough meat substitute, so perfect. I guess go ahead and make some more. And then we're going to have a pretty late dinner. But I think it'll be okay. I should have started making this way earlier and I did not even think about it. Okay, Alice, go ahead quickly. Oh, well, actually, hold on. Go to the bathroom and then take a sleep really quick. Take a nap. Um, and we're going to wake Ruth up. Everybody's tired. I'm very aware of the situation that's happening. But we need to cook a grand meal. Let's go ahead and wake Mary up. She's feeling a little bit better. What does she want to do, actually? She wants to play pretend in a treehouse. We, unfortunately, do not have a treehouse. I wonder how expensive they are. We're going to have to save up for that if that's something she wants. We can. I wonder if she can learn how to play the piano. She can. Okay, we're going to have her become, like, a pianist, I think, is a good thing. And, oh, I forgot to mention, Emma, by the way, you guys, right here, because her husband has passed away, she can now work. Um, so she is a writer. She's not in a career, but we have her just working on writing at her house. Okay, so I think we're going to wake Alice up now, you guys, and have her bake a pie. Or not. She's not going to bake a pie. Can she bake anything? Okay, so I did not realize that um, you needed to order a delivery because I have a mod. Of course, my mods got me super confused. But I have a, you have, there's a separate delivery service, okay? Basically separate. So, yeah. But whatever, we'll have it for next time. Maybe we'll just have a pie tomorrow, you guys. I wanted a pie for the holiday, but I didn't plan ahead, of course. So let's go ahead and she's going to pass out, but let's call everybody to the meal. That's rough. Oh my God. She was slaving away all day and passed out on the kitchen floor. That is a definition of a hard worker. And she has provided this lovely, beautiful dinner for all of her kiddos. Nobody looks happy. Like... Look at that. They do not look happy. She's having a breakout. It's just, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and everybody had a good dinner time at Harvest Fest. So we're going to go ahead and have Ruth go to the bathroom really quick and then make her way up to the bed because she is tired. And then same with Alice. You guys are super pregnant and super sleepy. So we'll, we'll have the kids take care of cleaning everything up. Oh, he wants to become friends with Alice. I think I'm going to pin that. That's a great one to have. Tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully everybody will be A-OK -okay and happy. And then you know what? I didn't even think about this. Uh, when they sleep over, do we have to assign them a bed? Hold on. Oh, I think we have to assign Emma a bed. Well, um, we have no money to do that. So let's see really quick. How much money? Let's go to our bank account. Let's just do like a thousand simoleons and we're going to get her a bed. Perfect, now we just have a little bed right there. And let's go ahead and find that to Emma so she is not so tired that she's gonna pass out just like her mom. Her poor mother. Okay, she is up again. She is very sad from a mood swing that she's having. Let's go ahead and just have her use the toilet. Her stomach is still upsetting her, you guys. And John lost his tooth. Okay, so the two kids finally lost their teeth, which is great because they were super picky, or not picky, but they were super uncomfortable. And you know what we forgot to do, you guys? Harvest Fest is over. So I'm, you know what? I'm going to leave the decorations up for a few days. Um, we have a birthday party tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow we'll sell the decorations and get ready for the birthday party. But it still is fall. So I'm, we might leave them up for a little bit. So the kids are going to have to go to school. We just got the notification in like an hour, which I didn't realize. Thankfully, they're in good moods, so I'm not going to have to worry about it. We're going to go down here and clean the spotted cow. We never made a name for our cow, so hold on. Let me name her really quick. Oh, Daisy. Actually, that's a nice name. Okay, her name's Daisy. There we go. Alice, how are you doing down here? This chicken is still really dirty. But let's go over here and you need to feed them, my dear. She is struggling. She is definitely struggling with um, her fun and social. 
So maybe we'll have her talk to Emma in a little bit. Oh my goodness. Weird science. In lab, John's science experiment exploded and made a big mess. I think we should apologize to the other student. Um, no, let's punish him. Academic punishment seems right, I think is what we would do. Okay, is I swear, like, if one of them is not using the bathroom, the other one is. That is how bad this is right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and have her go to the bathroom and make some arrangements. Oh, she's too uncomfortable. Oh, it's so frustrating, and I hate that they're pregnant. I absolutely hate that they're pregnant. It's like once one is sick, they're all... They're all, they all get sick. It's so annoying. Okay, why don't Alice, you come down here and talk to Emma a little bit. Maybe invite her to feel your child. We're not going to congratulate her on her marriage. That is upsetting. Her husband is dead. Okay, this is good. Her social's going up. Let's just talk a little bit more. Okay, she walked away. She walked away from us. Whatever. It's whatever. Her fun is... Um, I don't know what would be fun to her. Maybe if she reads... We're struggling on the fun side of things, you guys. She does not find reading fun. Okay, what about baking? Is there anything she can bake? Is that gonna be fun? <gasps> oh my god, okay, don't don't bake anything. It's happening. The baby's getting born. Alice's baby's gonna be born. Okay, hold on, you guys, hold on. So she's very uncomfortable. She's in labor. She has to go to the bathroom. Um, is there anything we can do or does she just yeah, she just has a home birth. That's pretty much pretty much it. So for the home birth, I don't know if you guys remember like last time, um, we have to get the pillow. Where can I find it? Birthing pillows. Here we go. Those are just the birthing pillows and we're gonna hopefully just one at a time have the babies. So we're gonna start our home birth. Alice is going in labor, prepare for home birth by purchasing a birth pool or birth pillows. And she is going, this takes a long time. So we're gonna send her on a walk, but it takes a while for them to have the baby. It's going to be like an all-day thing, you guys. She's finishing up this flower arrangement. Did she finish? She did. Okay, perfect. We're going to put it right in there. She's struggling a little bit. She's hungry. So we're going to have her take care of her flower garden. And then we will have her get some food. And there we go, you guys. It's happening for Ruth, too. She is going to have this baby. They both need to... It takes time. They both need to, like, walk around, do stuff, and get ready. Um, we're going to have to call, like, the obstetrician to come and help. A little bit because they're gonna have to tell us when they're ready to go to labor so Daisy has been unhappy for a while I'm trying to care for you and you're just not you're not letting me why clean Daisy for the love of God clean her can you oh my god are you cleaning her no you're talking to her I know, dude. I know. Daisy is unhappy. So am I. Nobody can clean her. Come down here and clean Daisy. You guys, I think we're gonna have to get rid of this cow. We can't take care of it. Unless the kids can do it. Oh, they can. Woo, the kids are saving the day right now. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and start a home birth for Ruth also. And we're gonna send her on a walk. And then we'll send her to sleep. Uh-oh, what just happened? Water breaking. Ruth's water just broke and a huge amount of water came out for a second. Ruth thought she had peed herself. Okay. I don't think that's happened yet to Alice. No, it hasn't. I'm going to have him sleep in different beds just because her bed has the birthing pillows and I don't think they're going to be able to do it. But this house just got a little bit crazier, you guys. Just a little. Just somewhat. Um, let's go ahead and have Mary. What are you eating? Don't eat the chocolate bar. Excuse you. Get some leftovers. Don't eat candy. I should not have this chocolate in the house. Thank you so much, John, for stepping up and taking care of the cows. I appreciate it so much. Can you milk the cow? You can. You can milk Daisy. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and do our homework really quick. And then we'll send Mary to sleep because she's getting tired. John over here, you know what? Why don't you just clean up just a little bit? And we will actually end up keeping this milk, doing our homework, and selling this. Oh, look at that! Scout badge earned. We just got a scout badge. Let's go ahead and go to the board and collect this one. Scholarly aptitude. Perfect. And then we can actually view the rest of them, too, because I'm wondering what he has to do. They are going to be in this, like, pregnant labor thing for, look, they have three days. We need to, like, do activities so they can... Bring that down a little bit because i don't think i can deal with this for three days you guys okay collect every badge so he needs arts and crafts are we already starting one social ability okay so perform friendly interactions with another sim 
Your birthday is tomorrow also, so I don't know. Oh, did it get pushed? Hold on. Where's her birthday? I don't think she can age up while she's in labor. So we're going to have to have her birthday after she has this baby. So even more reason why we should do as much as we can to get this baby out of her. Okay, she's awake. Let's go ahead and have her use the bathroom. And then she's going to need a vacuum because it's filthy in here. I think I'm going to like you know do what i normally would kind of speed through a little bit um until they either have the baby or if something important happens and i'll pop back up but we're just doing like kind of waiting around until something happens um i was hoping we'd have the birthday party this episode but we can't age her up unless she has this baby i don't think so i think i'm gonna try to have the baby but yeah i will be back when something like important pops up like them having these babies or if something else happens with the kids oh my gosh she keeps going you guys this is like the third time she's gone to the bathroom on herself i don't understand it okay you guys so i'm going to have little mary here come and sell daisy um it's just a lot of work and we can't take care of her so maybe when we get the farm like the ranch or whatever um for junior and his wife alice we can later but for right now, we aren't going to have the shed. So I think we're going to sell it just to get some more money. Because we're kind of... You know what? Actually, no. We'll keep it. We'll keep it for now. But we're hurting for money. So that's just kind of my decision. And she was getting old. So... Okay, so she just peed on herself, you guys. They keep, they keep doing it. They keep doing it. I don't know what... It's just I can't keep up with them. I can't. But look here, it says, the baby is ready to come out. Ruth is trying her hardest to focus on rhythmic breathing. The pain is becoming more and more unbearable, and Ruth is starting to doubt whether she can do this. So she is um, able to give birth now. So I think I'm going to have her, um, she has eight hours. I'm going to have her bathe and just sleep a little bit. That way she's not completely out of it. I don't think she's going to be able to sleep anymore. So we're going to wake Ruth up, and it is time to have an unassisted birth. Whoa, that was quick. That was really quick. She's just doing it. She's not even on the bed, you guys. She is just... That's a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope they're okay. I don't know if she's going to be okay or not. All right, and congratulations. It's a girl. Ruth just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call her? We are actually going to call her Eliza. So shout out to Samantha Elizabeth, who commented this several months ago. We are finally able to use this name. Thank you very much. And thank God. I hope it's just one. Please just be one child. There we go. There's Eliza. That's so cute how she's holding her. Oh, that's adorable. And we're going to have to do this all over again, you guys, with Alice. <laughs> now that Ruth also had her baby, that also means we can age her up this episode. So we are going to do that. I'm going to have her use the bathroom. And then she'll be making her own new birthday cake. Okay, everybody, Ruth is aging up. She's going to be a adult now, not a young adult any longer. And I just realized the men might have, like, done that too, possibly. Because we're not there in the same household anymore, so I don't know. But look at that. Emma, how nice of Emma. She sent us a birthday gift. It looks like, oh, we have Eliza's baby print and her birth certificate. Um, but we might want to check the mail. Is it in the mail? Hold on. It might be in our household inventory. Where's our present? It just said, hold on. Where's our present? Emma has sent Ruth a gift. Look for it. Oh, yeah. Arriving in the mail soon. Okay. So we will get a birthday present soon. That's exciting, you guys. So she's going to go to the bathroom, and then we are going to have her baby as well. Hold on. Use the bathroom. No, you need to get out of there. You are going to pee your pants. Get out. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, seriously? You were in the bathtub for so long that she just peed her pants. Okay, now we have to take a bath. Now we have to take a bath. Get out of the bathroom, Emma. Just leave. Get out. Alice, you are clean enough. Come on and have this baby. Come right here. Go on. I'm so excited that you are finally having your child. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Come back here. There we go, Alice. Oh, okay, just right in the hall. Just right there. Where everyone can see that, um, you know, I don't know if that's, I guess if that's what you want to do. Oh, all right. 
Oh my god, you guys, they had a boy. Alice and Fred Jr.'s first child is a boy. How perfect is that? Okay, so I think a name that I really like, we're going to use Michael. Next decade, when it goes to the 20s, we can call him Mikey. And I just feel like that's super, super cute. I don't, I don't know. I feel like he's going to be like a kid slash teen in the 1920s. And Mikey is going to be like a cute nickname for him. So officially baby born, Alice and Fred have had a baby. Okay, I don't know what that sound was, but I think it's because she's not super stoked to be having a baby. But I think we're going to try to kiss his forehead and um, attempt to bond with him. And see if it works. Hopefully it does, because I really don't want her to not like the baby for forever, because she has to take care of it. And I know when they don't want the baby, it's just like a pain in the butt for them to actually take care of their child sometimes. So, Oh, see, right? Interacting with unwanted child. Yeah, they don't like it. It makes them tense. I don't know why she keeps, why is she sad? Difficult feelings. Okay. Yeah, she keeps um having like these weird like moodlets come above her head where she's just not, not happy. So it has to be, um you know, it just has to be because she is not ready to have a child is probably what it is. But you guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. So they both officially have had their children. So they're no longer pregnant. In the next episode, we will have Mary H. up and the men will be coming home from the war. So that'll be really, really exciting. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.